it says, then begin I greatly, then I begin, then I be, then begin I greatly to command them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. So, it said, them that stood so, so stiffly. So you're going to have men that are going to stand stiffly and confess that name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai in this world. You know, and they're doing it. You see the men. And they're mainly the men of Great Millstone and other men that it's other camp members camps that, that do not go under the name, but they give double honors to the men, the men of GMS who taught them. You know, those men are confessing the name. I'm gonna look that uh I'm gonna look the word up uh I'm gonna go to etymology. And uh I want to look that word palms up. Because they said we will receive palms. Palms. Glorious, prosperous, flourishing. Glorious and prosperous. If you have glorious, if you glorious, being glorious and prospering, that means what? Uh, uh, power, man. It says, uh, Palms, the noun, the second noun, it says, in the ancient times, a leafy or fawn was carried or worn as a symbol of victory or triumph or on a feast day, hence figure to use in palms for victory or triumph, right? So, Palms is triumph and victory. So the Lord, it says he's given us, I'm going to read that. He says he's given us, uh, I'm going to read that again. This is 2nd uh, Ezra. And I must read the 2nd Ezra 2 and 45. And he answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortar clothing and put on the immortal clothing and have confessed the name of Yahweh Bashir Shai. Now they are crowned and received victory. We have received victory and triumph. That's when the, that's when we're gonna be received the victory, the total victory. When what? When we get into the kingdom of heaven and those crowns be put on your head. That's when you're gonna receive that victory. Hey, until then we have to keep pushing, man. Keep pushing. You know. And I'm gonna look up the word. Uh, look up this word uh, stiffly. See if I can look that up. Which uh stiffly is an uh the word stiffly is an adverb. So basically I could go and look up the word stiff. I can look up the word stiff. To make stiff. It says the noun part. Uh, still. I'm going to this. Like Israel, uh, rigid, or firm, or difficult, or impossible to bend, 
or flex, not moving, right? So, the ones who stood stiffly, meaning what? They wasn't e easily to be moved into any other doctrines outside of the doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man. They were firm in this doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh You couldn't come up on them and tell them nothing about Islam. You couldn't come up on them and tell them nothing about uh, Caesar Bozier being, being the, 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 the true God. You couldn't come up on them and say Moab's uh, gods were the true gods. You know? The ones who stood stiffly for the name. They wouldn't move. When they heard that name, they knew that name was that name. And they continued to call on that name all the way until they received palms and crowns, man. Word stiffly. You know? That's where we at with this thing, man. It's about the elect. And coming out here labor, trying to trying to uh trying to uh find the elect, man. Labor to the best of our ability. You know? Worshiping Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. And what, and, hey, believe me, man. You're gonna go through. You're gonna go through things when you out here. Uh, let me show you. This is a. Uh, first, Peter. First Peter one and seven. It says that the trial of your faith being much made much more precious than gold that perish, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh. Shai of Masiyah. Right? It says the trial of your faith, man. So your faith is going to be tried when you come into this thing, man. You know? Yahweh Shai is testing our faith, man. How much do we love him? How much do we love his word? When you do what you're supposed to do. You know? When you go all out to, to go out here and labor and, and to to uh, to uh, bring other help, wake up other laborers, man. You know, we are all laborers in the house of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh And people always tell you if you if you stand with if you in somebody's house, what you follow their rules, man. So we follow what the rules and the doctrine of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We trying to walk. We trying to walk in, in his in his uh in his ways, man. And that's what it's about, you know. It's go, it's not an easy thing. You're gonna be tried. You're gonna be tested. It said like gold is tested. How do you test gold? When you take gold, you put fire to it. To try to burn out the impurities, man. The fire we catch is we're gonna catch fire what through our jobs. You might get fired off your job being out here pushing the truth. Your boss might come through and see you out here. And you might get that letter or that talk the next day. You might cut all your hours down. You're gonna be tried by your woman. She not gonna understand what's going on. She gonna always want you to be right there under her. Basically trying to put you under that queen of heaven spell. Not respecting that you are a man of the Lord. And when you keep when you keep showing more love to Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah than her, what's she gonna do? She gonna call herself and gonna leave and go be with somebody else. She gonna go be with the two thirds. Not knowing that hey, she would a man of the Lord gonna be definite to her when she grow with somebody else. But to tell you that in the law, if a man sleep with another man's wife, they, he and the adulterer shall be put to death. So if a woman is with you and she wanna go elsewhere, you you ain't died yet, you still living. Her and that other man, they're gonna be put to death, man. You're gonna be tried like that.